You might not think about the soil compressed under your feet, or the deer that avoid the trail you travel when you're taking a hike. But Professor Randy Gimlet in the School of Natural Resources is thinking about these impacts. In fact, he may have you programmed into a computer simulation of people's activities in a park. Dr. Gimlet looks at the ways in which our impacts as individuals can accumulate and degrade natural areas. He explains. The you in the simulation is an agent, a software robot programmed to move around a landscape like a virtual person. But this is more than Pac-Man playing autonomously. Each agent can be programmed with a different set of characteristics, from the type of outdoor experience sought to the distance traveled to the park. My graduate students and I gather the data to create the agents from real life through interviews, trip diaries, and traffic counters. In the Ansel Adam Wilderness Area, in the Sierra Nevada Mountains of California, resource managers were concerned about increasing visitor use. We collected data on visitor impacts like soil compaction and litter volume for both day hikers and backpackers. We then created a simulation using these software agents to show the results of increased numbers of both day and overnight users. The wilderness management plan that was developed took advantage of our results to determine permit numbers for backpackers and to develop a permit for day use as well. This information is invaluable for agencies which need to effectively balance human and natural interests in our parks. Here in Arizona, we work with the Coconino National Forest in Sedona on multi-use trail simulations. In this example, we program these kinds of agents, hikers, mountain bikers, and jeeps, using a trail in Broken Arrow Canyon. The U.S. Forest Service needed data to respond to a request to allow more jeeps in the canyon. Our role was to evaluate the impact of increasing the number of jeeps on hiker experiences. On the left, you can see the number of encounters over time that each kind of recreator would experience. We showed that a slight increase in the number of jeeps would increase the number of encounters and lead to a decline in visitor experiences. We also found that hikers often responded more negatively to encounters with mountain bikers than to jeeps. The Forest Service used our model to demonstrate that the Broken Arrow trails were already saturated with jeeps and to design an alternative route for bikers to reduce the number of conflicts and impacts to visitors. We also worked on the south coast of Australia in a striking landscape referred to as Port Campbell National Park. Here we helped park managers plan for increasing day use at the park. They were particularly concerned with the erosion of vegetation on the sand cliffs you see here. In the simulation, you can see the arrival of tour buses and cars and groups of people that disembarked to walk the coastal trails. We modeled parking congestion and crowding on viewing platforms, pinpointing impacts on visitor experience, safety, and the environment. We were able to evaluate several parking and visitor center scenarios and their impacts. We found that the initial plan would fail to meet visitor demand within 10 years, which prompted the park to redesign parking and change the placement of the visitor center. These simulations are valuable because they enable managers to make informed decisions about visitor impact. We are able to pinpoint sensitive areas or hotspots with these models so that the parks can prioritize monitoring and management. Together with colleagues across the globe who model scenarios as varied as hunter behavior in Prince William Sound and foot traffic in a botanical garden in Australia, I am putting together a book on the subject called Monitoring, Simulation, and Management of Visitor Landscapes. The first comprehensive look at agent-based modeling, this book brings together the methods and approaches in use and promises to serve as a foundation for this emerging field. Dr. Gimlet uses new tools to provide a valuable framework for complex management decisions. The in-depth and relevant examination of visitor impact that Dr. Gimlet is able to provide to managers, as well as his role in shaping the development of this field, make him a great asset to the School of Natural Resources.